colleagues take her here with Westside Medical. Today we're going to talk about shoulder pain associated with the golf swing. There's about three places that you can have shoulder pain with the golf swing. Right back here is the posterior rotator cuff, which is made up of the infraspinatus and teres minor. Right here, which is the tip of the superior angle of the shoulder blade, which is the levator scapula muscle. And the next spot is between the shoulder blades, which is the uh, rhomboid and the lower trap. So we're going to go over how you can use a baseball and the therapy band here. I get these at Westside uh, Barbell to fix it. Generally for uh, right-handed golfers, it's the left side that, that, that bugs them. Because usually if they have this problem in the golf swing, if they're not rotating the hips and they're using more of the arm, it's going to pull on those shoulder blade muscles. And that causes adhesions through there, which results in pain as well as altered biomechanics. It could also be in like the downswing. If the arms aren't like dropping properly, if you're, if you're initiating your downswing without letting gravity kind of you know, catch the arms, it's going to pull here also. Check out uh, Sean Clement's uh, YouTube page, Wisdom and Golf. He goes more into that to give you some uh, more information. So first, let's talk about how to work out these adhesions. So what an adhesion is, is if you have overuse of the muscle, you get those adhesions just because you, the muscle tries to, to buttress against that stress. Muscles actually kind of glide like this, and you have an adhesion there, like some kind of, some kind of scar tissue, it became, becomes tight. And the muscle ends up becoming like ropey, as opposed to like a rubber band. And so you can let that shoulder rest, and the pain might go away. As soon as you start golfing again, that pain's going to come back because the adhesion is still there. It's going to start pulling and become irritated. So first, we're talk about this posterior rotator cuff. So you're going to take your uh, baseball, the crossball, whatever. You're going to place it right in this the posterior rotator cuff. You're going to compress it, and you're going to put your arm through that range of motion. Through here. So what it does is the compression compresses the muscle and you go through that range of motion it helps to pull apart those adhesions. If you find a tender spot, just work it and just compress and rotate. You can also do cross friction where you find that the muscle band here and you go uh, perpendicular to it. So you're gonna find it, compress and rotate to kind of clear out the adhesions. You can also do this on the floor. I'm just gonna do it here on this wall just for the sake of demonstration. So that was the posterior rotator cuff. Next we want to work, move to the levator scap muscle right here. So you're going to take the ball, once again you can do it on the floor as well as the wall. You're going to get right on that muscle and you can do that cross friction. The cross friction is going to release those adhesions, so it's going to transform that muscle from like a nice, from a tight rope into becoming more flexible and pliable, so it's going to help fix that range of motion. So next time you're out golfing, you know, that's not going to be tight and so you're not going to have that pulling, that pain, and the inflammation. So first you can do cross friction on it. Next you can do some, we call it compression with range of motion. So you're going to push right in the tender spot and you lift your arm up over your shoulder like this. So you kind of reset, compress, lift up over your shoulder. The reason why you lift your arm up over your shoulder is that shoulder blade is rotating down and you're compressing the levator scap muscle and it's pulling apart the adhesions that are located there. So the next step we're going to do the rhomboid and that lower trap. Just want to get the ball right between that, that shoulder blade there, and you can do cross friction, or you can do the compress and stretch, or some people call it, you know, you, you tack it down and then stretch, you compress it, and you bring your arm across the front of your body, and that's pulling that shoulder blade out, it's going to help pull apart that rhomboid muscle, as well as that lower trap. So pull, bring it across, once again, you try to find that real tender point, Compress, range of motion, reset, compress again, and then go through that range of motion. So once you have those adhesions worked out, now you want to do the band work to help strengthen, as well as like this band work helps to pump that muscle and work out the inflammation and some of the, the scar tissue that you had just broken up. So the first move here, you take the band, you're going to pull shoulder blades down, and you're going to pull apart just like this. And you can do about two, about two sets of ten. That's going to work that rhomboid muscle, like that. The next step to work the lower trap, you're going to do the same thing pulling apart. You're just going to change the angle. So you're going to pull it apart, just like this. 
just kind of we can really work on pulling those shoulder blades down. You don't do this. This is working your triceps. Pull it down, just like that. Once again, do about two sets of ten. Next, we want to work on is this posterior rotator cuff. There's a couple exercises for that. Each one you can do like about two sets of ten. First one we like to do, I'll call it face pulse. You take the band here and you're just going to pull it right to the face. Just like this, you're going to pull, your arms extend rotate, work the rotate, working the rotator cuff, and shoulder blades are being pinched back, also working that rhomboid and lower trap. And the variations are, you do the triple threat, where you're going to pull, rotate, and then press over your head. That's going to get more of the shoulder muscle also. Or you can do, I call them the, the straight wide pull parts, just pull up just like this. So you about two sets, do two, about two sets of ten of each of those, probably around you know, 70 to 80 reps volume-wise, and just about twice a week. So hopefully that helped. Um, visit us at westside.medical.com. Westside